morning. And thank you for setting aside this time to remember our Lord in communion. During this unusual and troubling time, we can have security in knowing that Jesus is with us right now. But what if things were different? Consider this. Have you ever started a project and wondered if it was worth doing? Have you ever started a home remodel or a car restoration project, knowing how much it would improve the home or the automobile? Then after a short period of time, the work becomes long and tedious. Things go wrong or not as planned. It gets too expensive or loses its appeal. You may begin to have doubts about your own abilities or you just lose your desire to see it through. Do you ever just want to give up and walk away from it? Jesus spoke in a parable of just such a thing in Luke chapter 14, verses 25 through 33. For which of you, desiring to build a tower, does not first sit down and count the cost, whether he has enough to complete it? Or what king, going out to encounter another king in a war, will not sit down first and deliberate whether he is able with 10,000 to meet who to meet him who comes against him with 20,000. Sometimes we have second thoughts. There sure has been a lot of second guessing going on right now. We have to weigh the idea of staying at home, removing ourselves from the crowd for the good of many over the desire of one, and that one would be us. Hard choices have to be made by our leaders, and we have to choose if we want to respect their decisions for the good of the many over our own wants. We must decide if I am doing the right thing. What will be the cost if we don't consider the cost? Hard choices? You bet. You know something? Even Jesus had second thoughts. Let's read a few verses from Matthew chapter 26. And Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, sit here while I go over there and pray. And taking with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, he began to be sorrowful and troubled. And going a little further, he fell on his face and prayed, saying, My father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. Again, for a second time, he went away and prayed, My father, if this cannot pass if this cannot pass unless I drink it, your will be done. And again he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy. So leaving them again, he went away and prayed for a third time, saying the same words again. You see from this section of scripture that even Jesus had second thoughts about doing what he knew that needed done. He thought it out and considered the cost. He had to choose for the good of the many over over his own desire. His second thoughts took him so far that he asked three times for this coming troubling time to be removed from him. Aren't you glad that he considered the cost? Not the cost to him, but to us. Just think what might have been had Jesus decided not to go through with the task that he was assigned. Without him going through and finishing his task, we wouldn't be remembering or commemorating anything this morning. So let us now remember the sacrifice of Jesus, how he counted the cost, overcame his second thoughts, and carried through to the end and completed his task. Bow with me in prayer, please. Our Heavenly Father, at this time, we thank you for this bread, the bread representing the body that Jesus gave willingly on the cross to purchase our redemption from sin. We know he had second thoughts. He had hard choices to make. But we're thankful that he chose what he did. Be with us now as we partake of this bread, remembering that sacrifice. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Again, let us pray as we partake of the fruit of the vine, representing the blood that Jesus spilled on our behalf. 
Our Heavenly Father, we come before you again this, this troubling time, remembering the troubles that Jesus had, but his willingness to overcome and see the task through to the end, that he would give his blood, his blood would be spilt for us, that we could have everlasting life. Thank you for Jesus and his sacrifice. In his name we pray. Amen. And as we would normally do in a, in a worship service, we um, take up a collection. I know we're not all meeting now, but I'm sure the elders and God would appreciate it if you remembered your contribution. It could be mailed in or dropped off at the building at any time. Thank you. Thank you. 